Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 42 in Azure Data Factory Real Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can read all files from a folder as a single data set into mapping data flows. So, to explain this requirement practically, let me go to my uh, browser where I have opened my Azure portal. And here, if I go to ADLS Mahir account, this is Gen2 storage account and let me navigate to the containers here inside the containers i have a container called sample container and inside the sample container there is a folder called data and here i have totally three employee files employee one two and three if i open each and every file it contains a similar kind of schema so if i go to edit tab here inside the employee that employee one that csv file i have three columns id name and gender mahir wafa and asi so let me close this let me open employee2.csv file and let me do the same thing go to edit tab and if i view the data here i have two more employees called pradeep and Anu. and let me close this and i have employee3.csv file and if i go to edit tab and then if i try to preview this here i have shakti and anurag so totally we have like three files and in all the three files i have the same data so i don't want to create a three different data sets in my data factory i want to create a single data set and i want to read this entire data as a single data source into my source transformation in my mapping data flow how to do that so let me go to data factory here let me go to author tab and let's try to create a new data flow here and inside this new data flow you make sure you enable this data flow debug option then only you can preview your data when you are implementing your data flow so let me hit this to add a source transformation and under this here you can give name to it so i am going to leave employees this is the name of this source transformation i am giving and then under this data set let's try to hit this new button to create a data set my storage is gen2 so select that continue and all my files are csv format that means delimited text format so select that formatter and let me hit this continue button here so let's name this data set as employees data this is the data set name i am giving and here you should create a linked service that is pointing to your storage account i have already created one so i am simply selecting it let's try to browse a location so under sample container there is a folder called data inside this data folder only i have all my three employees so you can see all these employee files i am not going to select any file name here simply click this ok button here now if you see it is pointing to sample container data folder but it is not pointing to any file let's select first row as header because all my three files contains first row as a header here so this data set when i am trying to so let me click ok button first so this will create a data set and the data set is selected inside the source transformation so let's try to open this data set if you see this data set format is delimited text type and this data set is pointing to a data folder so what will happen inside the data folder whatever the delimited text files are available all the data from the all the files it will try to pick let's try to make a practical sense of it let me go to data flow here so i simply pointed that a data set here which is pointing to the data folder let's try to data preview here and let's try to refresh button to see what kind of data we are getting here whether we are getting data only from one file or from all the three files so if you closely observe we are getting data from all the three files so we got mahir wafa asi this is from employee one file then we got this anu and pradeep from employee two file and this Shakti and Anurag we got it from employee 3 file. So that means we are able to get all the data as a single source transformation, right? So there is a small trick which I want to explain in this video, right? So like create a, create a data set pointing to your folder and make sure you select a proper formatter. That's it. Rest other job is done by data flow automatically. So once you loaded the data into source transformation, if you want to perform some kind of transformations on top of it, use these transformations and do transformations and then finally load the data into your desired sync locations so if you want to know each and every transformation here please watch my data factory playlist where everything i covered in a detailed video so let me go back to presentation so that is what i want to discuss in this video i hope you got a clear idea how to read a folder data that means a data from multiple files as a single source transformation into mapping data flow Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I do this. Thank you so much.